Hey there, hi there, ho oh there. So anyway, I'm once again sitting in the car waiting on Sunny. I feel like this is my life, you know what I mean? Like they say that the guy is always awaiting on the woman. In my relationship with my husband for the past 25 years, that is not the way it's been. <sighs> Constantly waiting on him. So anyway, we got like a whole, like crazy, I got a to-do list. Ridiculous. Um, I have a whole bunch of stops to make. Mason's in school. He left early this morning. Um, so we have to pick him up early. My hands are so dry. It's a good thing I have lotion in here. Um, and I just used lotion a little bit again. I think I need a, maybe a better lotion or something I don't like something for like really really dry hands you know what I, I don't know I'm sure there's something out there but anyway um we have to pick Mason up early because we're not going to be home in time um by the time he gets here off of the bus uh we are going to pick up the camper today and it's actually like 45 minutes away from us right now. So we do have quite the drive. Uh, so we're going to go. We're going to meet my dad. And um, my dad's friend is the one hauling the camper for us. Because our, um, our vehicle, uh, we just have a Chevy Equinox. And... Our Equinox is not big enough to haul this thing. But Sunny's next vehicle um, is going to be, I told him his next vehicle can be a truck, the truck that he wants. So, but we have to keep this one for at least another two years. So that means I want to be able to leave this camper sit, um, hopefully, uh, for as long as we can because we have two more years before we can actually pull it. Um, in two years, once he gets his truck, then we can pull it wherever we want. If we want to bring it home and park it in our driveway um, for a couple of months, you know, while we work on it, we can do that. Um, so, uh, that's where we're at now. That's where we're at now. So we're going to pick up the camper. So we have to pick up Mason first because there's no way we're going to be home in time to get him. And, um, I, I just have a ton of things. Like we have to get to the bank. We have to go to the drugstore. Um, I have my granddaughter's kindergarten graduation today. So I have to fit that in. Like, like as soon as we get back into town, Sonny has to drop me off and then go with the guys to, um, drop the camper, you know, so I'm so excited. Hayden is graduating kindergarten. She is so sweet. She's so sweet. Um, so I can't wait for that. Uh, I'll try to get a couple of pictures. Of course, I'm not going to get any video there because there's going to be kids everywhere. Worse than the, worse than the field trip for Mason's field trip. Um, and I just won't record other people's kids. I mean, uh, you know, I'll record my grandkids and, and my kids, but so I have that. Um, we have to meet the woman that runs the, um, campground, uh, tonight. I have to go to the grocery store cause we're completely out of milk and other things. We have no milk, no bread, like time to go to the grocery store. Um, no veggies, fruits. Like I am so hungry for fruits. So we need to go. I want strawberries and pineapple and all my good stuff. I just, um, ready for that. But Sunny had to, we went to leave and then Sunny was like, Oh yeah, I forgot some stuff. So we had to come back and get the hose for the water and everything. And now he's back. So I'm going to go ahead and go and I'll talk to you guys later. So we decided to stop and clean out the car before we went and did anything because we're such messy people. And I'm freezing. I am so cold. 
We really are messy people. I mean, look at this. Really? What kind of crud is that? <laughs> that's how messy we are. Well, that's Sunny's side, so he's probably messier than me. There's a lot of, like, cut grass and stuff in there, too. Tracking off of our shoes. We go from the wintery mix of salt and road crap to pebbles and cut grass. Now this back here, this is a whole nother story, okay? Alright, look at this. Look at that floorboard. Really? And of course this is Mason's spot. <laughs> And that's pretty much all my crap right there. All of my junk. Oh well. See, at least we stopped. We can't, we don't even have, we can't even uh, clean the back out because I'll show you the back. There's no room to like vacuum back here, so I'm not even going to bother today. We just had like, like, um, probably an extra half hour almost. And, uh, before we can pick Mason up from school. So I was like, all right, let's stop and clean this car out. Look, I mean, we've got clothes, we have everything. Ridiculous, okay, but it's almost clean. Okay guys, so I just thought I'd show you. Here goes, it's moving day. So the camper's being towed now. I'm so nervous. That thing is almost 7,000 pounds. I am so nervous. Why is there only one light on? Oh boy, I wonder if they even know that. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off and I will see you later. Okay guys, so we are heading down here to our campground. I hope you guys can see okay. I think it's kind of like blurry in my in my view, but we are almost there. We're gonna turn down here and I'm gonna show you the camper. Why did you just pass it? Well, we're gonna back <laughs> up now and I'm gonna show you the camper because my husband don't pay attention. I don't know about him. Here we go. Okay, so we're down in here. Let's take this little ride here. There's a couple of campers already set up back in here. shed I don't know what that is there and this is our new little summer home <coughs> you gotta back up hmm? you're gonna pull up in there aren't you up in there yeah well I do oh my goodness why don't husbands just know what you're thinking so anyway, this is it right here, guys. I'll get some shots of it when we get out. Okay, guys, so here it is. It's, um, what is it? 20, is it 28 feet or 27? 28. This is a 28 foot. It is almost 7,000 pounds. Uh, it scared me riding behind it, um, watching it be pulled today because <laughs> it's so big. To me, it's big. I don't know. But I'm going to go in and give you a little tour around. Okay, guys. So here we go. We're going to go in. Sonny's going to hook the lights up. And one thing, too, Sonny has like 14 days vacation. Um, it starts... I don't know, in like five days or something. But um, 
during his vacation he is building a patio this is our electric box so he's going to build a patio it's going to go flush up against here and it's going to come back probably to about here and it's going to go down to the other door um, just a deck is all I want uh, it doesn't have to have a roof right now um, eventually I do want a roof but we talked about seeing about getting an awning for up there but during his vacation though and we're gonna do the deck in sections so that um, we can move it and there is some steps that were built to put flush up against the store here um, the steps just um, are a little bit too big for it here so we're gonna have to cut them down so here we go let's go in okay I don't know if you guys can see because it is gonna be kind of dark in here because he's working outside and he hasn't got the electric turned on yet so he's working on doing that this is our kitchen area okay um, right here we have our table and chairs <coughs> I feel like I have a tickle in my throat. Underneath these seats lift up for storage under both seats. Also, this table lays down and the cushions on the seat will make a bed. Um, I don't know how comfortable of a bed, but it will make a bed. It looks like maybe two people. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. It looks like maybe two people will fit there. I'm um, not really sure. Okay. So then <clears throat> we come around here. I've got a tickle and I need a drink so bad. We come around here and it does have double sink, which I love, love, love. I, I most campers, I think, only have one big sink. So this one that has the double sink, I really like that. Um, and then you have the four burners and then you do have a oven. It's a smaller oven, um, but I heard the oven works really well. So um, the countertop goes <clears throat> the whole way around and it kind of does a little L shape right here. I do have cupboards under. There's so much cupboard space, like it's crazy. Okay, I've got, uh, that's underneath the uh, oven right here. Um, then if you look on above the oven, here it has the vent. Um, and then if you look above the oven, oh, they stick a little. Uh, nice deep countertops, or cupboards. Uh, if you come over here, these doors, I guess what we have decided that we're going to do is take both of these doors off and take the shelf out of there and our microwave is actually going to sit right up in there and that way it won't we won't waste any space on our countertops uh, for the microwave so that's where our microwave is going to go we're just going to take these completely off um, and then we do have uh, nice deep cupboards they go the whole way back um, right above the uh, kitchen counter uh, another um, more storage here we have this isn't really a kitchen counter but it's just kind of a little shelf that we can put whatever or whatnots you know so um, back here if we back up <coughs> this is where the refrigerator will go um, the refrigerator that was originally in here did not work so the people that had it before us went ahead and took it out there are cupboards underneath where the refrigerator goes but they did buy a refrigerator and this is it and it'll just sit right in there so we're gonna set the refrigerator in here and then my dad had said that he's going to build a couple shelves here that way for pots pans whatever and it just go it does go up pretty far so it's pretty deep in there um my battery's running dead so i'm gonna hurry along here if i move back this way this is the living room area um this couch will make out to a full-size bed this chair is not attached um, so it's actually going to be leaving 
um, I don't want it in here. It's not comfortable. The springs are bad in it. Um, and I am going to put another chair in here in place of that, but that one there will be leaving. Um, right beside that, see it's getting too dark here. I'm going to shut this off until he gets the electric and then I'll show you the rest. Okay guys, so we have lights. Um, all right, what I was saying is I want to get rid of this chair. I'm going to get rid of that immediately. I just don't like it and I kind of have an idea on something different to put here. I think eventually what I want to do is I want to get rid of this couch completely um, and put a regular futon in here. So I'm thinking in my head that that's what we're going to do. Right now we're going to leave it, but I'm thinking in my head that that's what we're going to do. So if you walk down here a little ways, um, you will see we have so much storage space. It's crazy. So there is this. This here, I believe, is for one of those like little TVs those little old TVs, which we have a little old TV, you know, with the big backs. And we have that. Um, we have one of those at our house. So we will be using that right there for now. Um, but then I thought maybe later on, um, when funds are a little bit different, maybe we'll just get a regular flat screen. And I'm thinking maybe like we could mount it up here. Uh, on a swivel or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but underneath here is a lot of storage. That must be where the wheel is outside because there's like a little lip there. Um, so there's that. I don't know. They have like the little plastic stand, which we'll probably set that outside. Okay, so now we're heading down the hallway. I don't know why this covered door is open. Oh, this stayed shut the other day. Oh, it's because the thingy broke. You'll have to fix it. So this is the cupboard or the closet that's in the hallway. Look at how huge this thing is. I don't even know if you guys can actually see how huge it is. Like literally, and it goes back there. So anyway, that's actually like a super big... Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you, then way down here, there's like space in there too. Um, then we close that up and we come around here and it's dark in here. Where is the light? We don't have this thing like jacked up right now. The light in here is not working for some reason. So I don't even know if you can see. Um, we have the sink some cupboards we have a toilet and then in here is a really nice size tub and shower so and it has like the things on the wall so I don't have to worry about that very nice and then back here is the bedroom where there's another door there is a coat hook I love the curtains, steeler curtains, um, big bed. Underneath the bed, there is storage. Um, there's little shelves on both sides. I don't want to walk all the way in the back because like I said, we don't have this jacked up right yet. Um, big cupboard spaces, electrical outlets, 